Well, hi, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with another special guest today. And as I've said a few times along the way here, this is a very special guest, somebody who is a mentor of mine and been around for a, a few years more than me and knows an awful lot. And as I was telling him and other people, this is all about maybe helping some people with what we're going through. So, but first of all, please welcome Phil Harmon. Phil, welcome to the podcast. Well, thank you, David. It's a pleasure. You bet. It's good to see you, as we like to say. So, so let me just jump right in. Regarding your viewpoint and things, what has been your best coping mechanism in dealing with this pandemic, which is, I guess, we're in about our fourth or fifth week so far? Keeping busy by setting goals. Mm. I just have been busy every day, haven't had a boring day yet. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And, and it's true. There's some people that don't quite have that imagination. In fact, I've kidded you before about when we're getting together for coffee or something. You know, I'm just so busy. And that's what I love about you. I mean, if you want something done, give it to a busy person. So, but as you, as you've gone through this, my whole thing is being Mr. Gratitude is that gratitude guy. What are you most grateful for today? Is it any different than a month ago or a month and a half ago? Or is it, has it changed at all since we've gone through this? Well, it certainly makes us makes me grateful for my family that have been so supportive. I just get today. I just got another text from a grandson who's a police officer, and on his day off, saying, "I'm going to such and such a store today. Can I get anything for you? Do you need anything?" You know, people have been so helpful. Uh, open the front door and be surprised by uh, a bouquet of tulips that were left there. You know, because I oh live my. in Stagic County. Yeah. And uh, it's just neat the way people are reaching out to help everybody. Yeah, that's really true. And, they, you know, they say if you want to help yourself, help other people. And this mm. could be not uh, maybe more true than right now. So I mentioned how busy you are and you keep a lot of uh, balls juggling there and so forth. What tips or thoughts might you have for people that are housebound and don't really quite know what to do? For somebody like you, it's a piece of cake, and, and you, as you say, you've got a lot of goals and so forth. But any thoughts or ideas for people that may not be uh, juggling as many balls as to what they can do while they're housebound? Well, David, you know one of my favorite sayings, the kind of person you're going to be in five years is uh, about the people you associate with, the books you read, mm -hmm. and the, the tapes or things you listen to. You can't maybe associate with people, but you can certainly do a lot of reading, and you can uh, certainly listen to CDs or tapes, and uh, I've been I've been doing that, been getting a lot of books read too, which has really been uh, enjoyable. And I'll tell you this, my wife, terrible as it sounds, my wife's loving this because she's getting all the honeydew things done. <laughs> a lot of things in the to-do list. Right. That's good. So what when you think about this will be over at some point, we don't know how or, or when or whatever. I mean, there'll be a vaccine. There'll be things that will be gradually going back to work. But what are you kind of doing right now to sort of hit the ground running, if you will, when this is over and it's sort of back to some level of new normal? Well, I'm I'm from a recreational standpoint, since I'm mostly retired now, I'm, uh, I can still go tinker on my boat. No one's around there and get my boat ready to roll. And I'm, I'm doing that. But from a business uh, standpoint, I'm uh, continuing to uh, look at ways to support clients as they go through the, this, uh, for some of them, very difficult time and right. trying to pass on to them helpful hints emails and so forth uh, with ideas to uh, assist them with where they are and uh, helping them some guiding some of them through this uh, government uh, uh, program that's going on right now to help small right. businesses. Right. Has there been any common thread sort of with your advice? And again, you're somebody I look up to and have learned a ton from anything that is kind of a common thread that you've noticed you've told these people, this is something, if you focus on this, this will help you. Uh, well, I think, uh, yes, looking at unique ways to communicate during this time. Mm. I've actually participated with some uh, when they have company meetings, even though the people may be working remotely. Uh, yesterday, I was on with one company that uh, they have a, 
happy hour at the end of the day to keep people connected and asked me to join in with them. And it was a pleasure to see them and uh, see them in their home surroundings. It was a bit of a light moment for oh, uh, no. everyone as they joked a bit and so forth. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. Well, that's been great. And last question is, do you have sort of a, a quote or a saying or a mantra or something that kind of guides you, whether it be through a tough time like this or sort of, I, I noticed a few people I've asked that, they said this too shall pass, but is there sort of a uh, overarching feeling that Phil has that kind of uh, helps you through a time like this? Well, it's just that our attitudes control us and they're a choice. Mm. And it's uh, a choice that we make every day, regardless of what's going on. And uh, I choose to look for ways to make the most out of this. That's fantastic. That's, I heard somebody say the other day, every day I wake up, I choose to be positive. And, exactly. And that's, and you've always been extremely positive. And one of the reasons why you and I connected uh, a number of years ago, just having a similar attitude. And I still will never understand people that uh, wake up with a negative attitude or choose to be negative because it is a choice. And so choosing exactly. to be positive or, or uh, see the glass half yep. full is, you and I certainly think a better way to go. So, well, I have a friend that talks about the attitude of gratitude. It's a, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> good, good. Wonderful. Well, thank you, sir. I so appreciate it. Oh, thank you, you have David. Some pearls of wisdom. Thank you so much. Thank you, David.